I just stroke at the store, stroke on the small. Tell me to quit, no, no, say what I'm told. They help me forget that this world is. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different from our normal content, but pretty similar to a video we did upload a, a few days ago. So that video was top 10 best Clash of Clans updates in the history of Clash of Clans. But today, we are going to be doing, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, 8 things that Supercell said would never happen or ruled out that actually came to Clash of Clans in the end of the day. So they said there were many things that they've said that will never happen and never come to Clash of Clans that eventually did come and we do have these uh, these changes implemented in the game today. But yeah, normally if you guys are new to our channel, we do do daily Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content. We normally do different videos such as our Builders Hall 6 Let's Play series, our farming series, farming to max series, and then in Clash Royale we have our level 1 to 3000 series and other series like that. Normally we do do regular content, not top, top 10, top 8 videos like this. But I do enjoy doing these videos and I got a lot of support on my last video so apparently you guys like it too so we're going to do more of this if you guys are alright with that because I like doing these. It's pretty interesting. I do do some research and it does kind of bring me back to my past in Clash of Clans and I remember stuff that I kind of forgot I forgot about. There's stuff in the game that I completely forgot was even there. Stuff that's been changed and I don't know it's fun to look back and see what's actually changed. So we're going to get right into this and... These are in no particular order. I am going to be playing replays in the back end, a live attack, maybe two live attacks. But this is in no particular order. So let's start off right off the bat with the gem mine. So here we have our gem mine right here. It is only level 4, but does the job. Um, Supercell did say, now if you guys have not played Clash of Clans for too long, people were begging for the gem mine for a good 5 years. A good five years people were begging for the gem mine. Everyone said, nah, that's never going to happen. Supercell just wants money. That's not going to happen. Supercell even ruled it out. They said, there will never be a gem mine. The only way to get gem mine, which acts as a gem mine, is the trees that grow on your base, which is kind of basically your own private gem mine. And that's going to be the most... And also, uh, I guess, there's achievements. But that's going to be the only way to get gems in the game besides buying it. Now, this was completely ruled out as an idea. But recently, in the most recent update, there was the Night Village update, and we did eventually get the Gem Mine, which I'm pretty excited about. Doesn't produce much, but it's kind of cool that it's in the game after a couple years, five years of um, deliberation and people wanting it. And finally, Supercell just said, let's give the people what they want and let's give them a Gem Mine. So I'm pretty happy about that. So without further ado, let's move on to number two. Number two is going to be a new hero. Now, as you guys know, sorry, I accidentally clicked end match. As you guys know, there was always just the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, which we do have. But everyone always wanted a third hero, and there were always suggestions like a wizard hero, a healer healer, a healer hero. <laughs> That's kind of a tongue twister, a healer hero. Healer hero. Um, and everyone always wanted these different types of heroes, but Clash Clans always said, or Supercell always said, there will not be another uh, hero. Because right now it's just too overpowered. We've got the king and the queen, and they crush bases alone. People are doing queen walks and king walks and all these he uh, healer combinations with the heroes. And yeah, that's we're not going to add another hero. There's no point. We're not going to do a wizard hero. So they completely ruled out the idea of a third hero coming to the game. Now, a couple years had passed after all of this, and this came completely unannounced. This came to a complete surprise. No one had any idea that this new hero was actually in the making. No one had any idea about the idea of this hero because this hero is not a, your typical hero because in the past, we are going to raid this village actually. In the past, our two heroes, which are the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen, we had the troops. There's Barbarians and the Archers. So it made sense. But now in this update, we got the new hero, as you guys know, as the Grand Warden. But... This Grand Warden came completely unannounced because there isn't a Warden in the game already. So it, it was kind of confusing at first because it was a completely new thing in the game. But it, it did end up being cool because Supercell did say they were not going to add a third hero. But they did add a third hero and that is what we know as the Grand Warden. Now this surprised me a lot because during all this um, 
all of this uh, debate, all of these debates about having a new hero. Everyone was expecting like a wizard, a wizard king, a wizard something. But we ended up getting a completely new unit to the game, which was not introduced into the game before. So we did get the Grand Warden. So that's going to end that one. Now we are going to move on to number three. The third, the third change that Supercell added to the game that they said would never happen is actually the Night Village. So as you guys know, we did get the Night Village in the most recent update, as I talked about in number one. But we did get the Night Village. Now, there was a long time where people were sending in screenshots, photoshopped edits, and a whole bunch of different stuff like that to Supercell. And Supercell were, was like, we are not going to add Night Village because it, you can't really do that because people are on nighttime across the globe at different times because, yeah, the Clash Clans is global. So people all across the world are actually playing Clash Clans. So they can't add a Night Village because then it could cause controversy over like where Supercell is located and who gets night and who gets daytime. So they completely ruled that out. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen these screenshots in the past. I will find a screenshot and I'll put it in the video if I do remember. Hopefully I do remember, I'll, I'll remind myself. Doing that. But in the newest update, it did come. Now it didn't come how we expected it to come. It actually came as a separate feature to the game that was just completely the Builder's Village. Here's another really good base. But um, yeah, so it came as a completely different feature into the game than we originally thought. We thought it'd be the main base in darkness once it hit darkness during the day but actually this is a really good solution by Supercell because it doesn't matter where you are the night villages or the builders village is always dark no matter what so it doesn't matter where you are it still makes sense so I thought that was a pretty good idea by Supercell so that's another thing that they ruled out that they eventually did bring to the game now the number four coming in hot is dark spells so uh, we always had a spell factory in the game of course since the beginning of the game and people always wanted a dark spell factory also dark troops but now people maxed out their dark elixir a lot because their heroes were maxed out of course because there is less hero levels in the game before all of this happened now people just had dark elixir waste getting wasted and they said hey let's make a dark like a dark spell factory something cool like more spells now originally Supercell ruled this out saying that this was a ridiculous idea because it's already so overpowered having um, our regular spells. Having dark spells would actually make the game way too easy to attack and defense it'd just be impossible to defend. So that is how that originally started but eventually I guess they did find a balancing point where they were able to add in the dark spell factory. Now the dark spell factory. <laughs> Now we are going to move on to level 5, which is actually level 12 walls. Now everyone got so mad when Supercell made the walls go from level 10 to level 11 because as you know it is so hard it's a grind to farm these walls. It is a grind to farm these walls. Now they were uh, able to make level 12 walls of course, but after they made level 11 walls they said that's it we're not making any more levels of walls to make all of you guys happy. Just farm your level 11 walls and that'll be it. Now. After a while, like a couple years, a year, um, people started to get their level 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 11 walls, including myself. I just maxed out level 11 walls. At the time, they were blue and they were electricity. Then Supercell released level 12 walls. They said they weren't going to, but they did. And everyone, it did cause an uprise, but it wasn't what we expected. It wasn't regular wall sections. You can only do 75 of these walls, as you guys know. So... Yeah, that's another thing that they added. Also, th another thing, a little bonus section. They did rule out that they were going to make elixir walls. So everyone wanted to use their elixir because everyone had maxed out troops. They had, uh, they could only use gold to upgrade walls. And they had their maxed out troops. So their elixir storage was always full. And it was just wasting elixir day by day. And so Supercell did rule that out. They said Everyone was complaining, hey, we're wasting our elixir. Why don't you make walls easier to farm by making them... Uh, be able to be purchased by Elixir. Supercell ruled this out, but eventually they did change it. And they also dropped the prices of walls, so did make people like myself mad that did grind and farm and use all gold to upgrade our walls, but in the end, there's nothing that we can do about it. So now let's move on to number six. Number six, Supercell did rule out quests slash challenges. Now this was a prediction for a long time that people were making screenshots, they were making uh, Photoshop images of quests coming to the village. People believed it, but Supercell ended up saying, we're not going to do quests 
these pictures are fake and that's not happening to the game because it would make it um, a little bit ridiculous but as you guys know now we do have events also known as quests and challenges so Supercell did end up bringing that to us so now we're going to move on to number seven which is Supercell did rule out a second game slash second village. Now people wanted like Clash of Clans version 2, a separate app, Clash of Clans 2. They ruled this out, they said no people are on this game, we're not making a separate game, of course not, we would not do that. So everyone figured that there would never be another Clash of Clans type game, but they did surprise us once again with the Night Village. It is not what we first expected, a Clash of Clans 2, but yeah, we, we do... We do have a second village, which came a little bit different than we expected, but it is here. Now, another thing, number eight, the last thing that we are going to be talking about in this video that Supercell ruled out was preset armies. Now, everyone begged for this for such a long time because we weren't able to preset armies. We weren't able to uh, train armies before, but now, as you can see, we have a quick train option where we can save up to three armies, and then we have our previous army that's saved, and we could just train that army with the click of one button but in uh in past clash of clans a couple years ago we had to manually go in and uh i think we just raided this village uh we had to go in and actually um train our army one troop by one we had to do it manually each troop we had to do by ourselves so it was kind of a struggle and clash clans ruled this out they said there's no way they could implement this into the game but I guess after further engineering and after further testing, they were able to implement this function into the game where we were able to preset armies. As you guys know, Clash of Clans today, we can do that today. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to wrap up our list for today. That was the eight things that Supercell said would never happen in Clash of Clans that ended up coming. And I guess we did do a ninth little bonus section with the walls there, the elixir walls. But... That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below and tell me what you guys think about this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content. And I will see you guys in the next video.